Yeah, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas outside. Therefore, I'm going to show you how I created the stars and snowflake light displays for very cheap using 3D printing. Let's get started. The, the star displays are nothing new for us. We have been creating them for many years now using bamboo sticks. But the problem with them is that they break easily. And since new bamboo sticks were not available anymore at our local DIY store, only thinner ones that would break even more easily, so we decided to try out something new. So using a little bit of our own design skills, 3D printing and some wiring conduit, we have been able to create a lot more shapes, making them a lot more stable than ever before. So in this video, I'm going to create a small snowflake as they're very easy and we'll wrap it, showing you how it works. Everything you need is wiring conduit. This one is 16 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. And they are very cheap. They get sold in a 3 meter or 10 feet stick. You need obviously some Christmas lights. I bought these at Action. They are very cheap. They cost like 5 euros. I don't know how long they will last. I hope they will last a little bit at least. A little bit longer than some other cheap ones that are available here. Then a few screws would be nice. You can also glue it if you want, but this will take a longer time. And then you need some zip ties and some insulating tape for marking the LEDs and a 3D printing part. If you want to create a snowflake, the easiest thing to do is to print this part. All the links are obviously down in the description. For the snowflake, you just need five sticks, mount them to each of the sides and you're pretty much done with the construction. If you want to create a star, like a five point star, um, you need to print two different parts, all five pieces of each. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to cut them in size. As mentioned, the snowflake needs 5 sticks. So I created like 30 centimeters or about 1 foot long parts each. So with a 3 meter stick you can create 2 snowflakes. And the thing we have to do now is just... Alright, you might have noticed that there are some slots on the outside. They make wrapping the lights very easy so that they don't get loose at the edge. So now we just need to make sure that they hold like this. You, can, you have two possibilities, either just add some glue and we prefer actually screwing as it's a lot easier and won't make a lot of mess. So I will just show it very quickly. But before we get the screws, we need to drill some holes. Get rid of the drill. Alright, so assembly, very very easy, just get the stick. Make sure you have the correct screw bit. This is a T10, if I didn't mention. Alright, and this finalizes the assembly of the snowflake. Now we can wrap the lights. So I prefer having the lights spread out equally. So with five sides and 100 lights, it's obviously not hard of a math of finding out that you need 20 lights a side. All right, we said we need 20 lights per side. So what I'm going to do, and this is also a trick I, I can give you, is like counting 20 lights before. One, two, three, four, five, 19, 20, there we go. 20 lights, and now just take a stripe of insulating tape and just mark it here. Um, it's a good idea of fixing the first one using a zip tie. So now we just need to get around here. Here's the trick with the slot. You just take the cable through the slot, so you need to make sure it's deep enough. And then uh, wrap it the other way around so it's holding onto itself. And now we'll finish with the first side. There we go. We'll continue on this side now. So let's move over one. Now at the end, make sure that it, it is still tensioned and won't lose. Add another zip tie. And there we go already. It's awesome. All right, that's it. It's already finished. Looking quite good. It's one of my best I created so far. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to get it onto a tree. 
So yeah, I'm going to mount it using like a zip tie, a long zip tie through the center here. But you also can use a string or something else. Yeah, that's it for the first episode of Practical 3D Printing. I hope that you liked it. And have a nice day and a Merry Christmas. See ya!